Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm going to add another story to the hunting list. This and here is going to have to do with my daughter Amber. And this and here is going to be about wild chickens, beavers, and the Amber Buck. So stay tuned. We got back. <music> All right, as many of y'all know, uh, with having kids, you know that when you go hunting, uh, especially when they're little, you know, they want to go with you. And sometimes you can't help but say yes. And it's hard to say no. But uh, I told a story last time about Garrett and the four points. So this in here is going to be about Amber and the Amber Buck. Now I'm going to do some hunting stories on Amber with uh, the deer she's killed. But in this particular one, she was probably six or seven. And she'd been after me to go, you know, go with me. And I got an old 300, 400, four tracks. I mean, you know, Honda four tracks are pretty good four wheelers. And uh, like I said, my lease is just four miles down the road. So I'd ride down there. Well, she'd want to go with me. So on this particular hunt, I had a, I bought this backpack that you stick your bow on. You got another backpack goes over it and put it on your back. Well, she had claimed the little backpack, the little one that holds the bow on. So she went and got her stuff and loaded her bag up and we took off. Well, Amber ain't scared of heights. I mean, she, Amber and Garrett, they're not scared of heights. Colby, he might, but yeah, he is a little bit, but Amber in particular on this, she was just a small, uh, I was just going to go somewhere and just kind of be, you know, observation and see, you know, what, you know, what we see. So we have this little bitty shooting house that ain't been like a four by four. So four by four by probably six foot tall, made out of a couple shipping crates. So we go and we get there and she gets her little bug juice and everything. And it's just funny the things that the kids say. So she's sitting there on my lap. She's watching the field and we're sitting there and I see a bunch of turkeys start coming across that saddle I told you about before in that field. And she goes, dad, dad. There's wild chickens, which I got cracked up and I said, honey, those are turkeys, which, you know, we all call them thunder chickens. But at that time, she didn't know. And as a matter of fact, at that time, I didn't even turkey hunt. But they went on its fall of the year and they moved on. We sat there talking and she's, she used to always draw and take stuff and make these little big headed dogs, what she called them, and, you know, give them to me and Papa and her mom and her brothers and stuff. But uh, anyway, we're sitting there and She's got quiet again. It's getting to that magic hour. And all of a sudden, Amber goes, look, Dad, there's a beaver. And I'm thinking, beaver? And I look out there, and it's a groundhog. So we got a good chuckle out of it, and I still river to this day about it. But it's just funny the things that kids say. So anyway, uh, having th those two parts told, about a week later, the rut was on, and we went to the shooting house. And she went with me, and uh, it was a uh, muzzleloader. And we'd, we'd had some rut activity in the area, so we're sitting in this shooting house that overlooks this big clear cut. And at, at that in particular year, they had mowed it down, so a deer couldn't move in that clear cut. And it's 450 yards straight across. It kind of goes in a big valley, and deer would cross back and forth over the top power line. So it's like a big side ridge that just rolls around. So we're sitting there, and... Uh, uh, shooting house and I see a doe come in down at the bottom. She's flicking that tail and stopping and peeing ever so many feet. And of course, Amber's young and I'm like, oh man, there's gonna be a buck behind her, she's hot. Amber's like, what do you mean she's hot? Well, I said, oh, she's just hot. I see her fanning her tail, she's trying to cool herself down. Amber's like, oh, okay. Well, about that time, here comes a buck turn around the corner. He starts pushing her, he's way out there. So I got her off to the side, told her just sit still for a second. I got my buck roar and I let out about three good grunts. He didn't hear him. So I let out three more grunts and a hard roar. He stopped. I couldn't believe I pulled him off of her. He looks back and I noticed that he's not that wide of a deer. But anyway, he turns and starts dead running towards us. She's like, you gonna shoot him, daddy? You gonna shoot him, daddy? You gonna shoot him, daddy? And I was like, I don't know, we'll wait till he gets up here. Well, he come through the bottom, come across that slough, through the bottom, come running up, and I knew he was going to break the tree line, so I had to open the window. 
And when he went by, I didn't think I was going to shoot him. She's like, all right, daddy, you going to shoot him? I'm like, just be still, Amber, be still. So I got my muzzle loader out the wind and got it set up, and he broke out our stop dead broadside. Amber said, shoot him. I let him have it. He runs up behind us. I'm reloading the muzzle loader, and he gets there. You know how they do that death wobble? He kind of wobbled back and forth. And Amber said, oh, look, he's dancing. So he fell over and we had a, you know, that's just one of the memories uh, that I have. One of the memories I have of Amber when she was very little. If I, you know, and that buck wasn't that, that good of a buck, but it sure is a special buck to me. This is an Amber buck. I actually boiled it or put it in peroxide and when I was cleaning it and half of it's gone, but still this buck here means a lot to me. It's a heck of a memory with me and my daughter. It might not be the biggest, but nobody can take that memory away from me. But if I can urge any of you, get your kids out and take them with you. Get them out. They're the future of our hunting. And you'll have just as many memories as I do. So I hope you enjoyed this story about wild chickens, beavers, and the 10-point amber buck. Stay tuned. There'll be more coming. And as always, God bless.